hi um, in this video I want to uh, just share with you how to back up and restore a company file in QuickBooks a lot of people have been asking me questions on how to back up and um, how to save uh, the company file especially when you have a um, lot of data and you don't want to lose them because of a um, system crash though I've shared a video before on how you can copy a company file but um, people who are looking for guide on how to back up maybe i believe that's the time they are looking for um i'm going to share a brief uh, tutorial on how to do that now assuming you've opened your company file in quickbooks and this is your company file if you want to back up this company file all you have to do is to go to your file would go to file then click create backup when you click create backup you will see a window that pops up say make a backup copy of everything you need to recreate your company file in case of accidental loss or damage this is very very important because there's no how you'll be using the system you'll be using a, uh, an accounting software without running a backup because you can't trust your system what if um, your system crashes what if something happens how would you restore your data back and all that i actually have a client who actually experienced similar challenge he he he, he was using a, a, a quickbooks file he has been using the quickbook file for almost like five years and he, he hasn't done a backup for almost like a year and when it happened and uh, he lost everything and all that so that's that's a big damage he was actually laid off so it's very important that you back up your company file against any loss and all that so when you go to this create backup the next thing you click is you click next now i assume that you have an external disk because that's the best place to back up you can't back up on the same system you're entering your company file because even if the system crashes you still lose everything including your backup so running a backup should be in an external disk you go to browse when you go to browse here this is where you now select the location you want to back the system up or you want to back your data file up then at the location here you will trace your company um, flash or external disk right here if you had inserted external disk on your system this is where it will appear then you click ok once you click ok here once you click ok don't mind me because we are actually um, saving it on the company file on the desktop so that's why I'm going to select this PC but I don't advise you to do this it's not proper then you click ok sorry Goodness, let me select a location that I'm going to save it desktop that's desktop here so here you can see different options you can add date and time of backup to the file recommended limit the number of backup copies to this folder to three that means if you want to back up to this particular folder assuming it is on the flash to you can let me you wouldn't have more than three backup on that particular folder when you add new ones you know the other one will leave they remind me to back up when I close my company file this is very very important so you can even do it uh, uh, you can even reduce it to one time for system to continuously remind you because sometimes you might forget select an option to verify that your company is okay here and all that that is not corrupted when you save complete verification which is this quicker way so it's good to use complete verification which means to verify all your data integrity and all that when you're done you click ok so system is asking us to change our backup location but because we are using an external disk so we are using we are saving it on a desktop so that's why we we use it using use this location but if it's an external disk i would advise you to probably you, well this information will not pop up if you have used an external disk it's only telling you that it's not proper to back up on the same space where your company file will enter you've told us to save backup copy to the same hard drive that holds your company file which is not recommended you can see that the same hard drive that is holding the company file you're also backing up to that company file is very very bad so if the system crashes you're going to lose everything so we do not advise you to do this rather we will say save it on a flash and all that so we click ok then you now click you can see where when do you want to save your backup so you can say save it now save it now and schedule future backup you can use now and schedule future back which means that when you save it now you can also schedule how you want to be backing up in the future which is most recommended so i would advise you to use this one then you click next then you can see save backup save backup copy automatically when i close the company file this is also very very important with this system will be saving the backup automatically for you and all that so even if you save it now you can also be having the company saved backup saved automatically for you so this is very important in case you forget to do a backup your system will help you to run that then you click finish
here so you can see verify data integrity so it's verifying our data after this system will save the backup and get your file available for you but one thing you should know is that when you run a backup your backup should be on a fresh external disk because using an existing external disk may not really work for you so there's possibility that you might have virus on that so you better you use a fresh external disk for it and all that so it's better so i think that's just the process of doing a backup now to restore your backup on your file after you have saved it on the, that in a new computer as i mean you, you, you something happened on your system and you want to restore the backup on your computer you go to file you click open or restore company then you go to restore a backup that's the same backup that we actually uh, saved on our computer system but I, like i said i'd not advise you to do that it's better you save it on an external disk then you click next when you click next here so this is where you select the location of your backup so you can see our system backup here which is this here so you can select the location and click open so this is also very very important here you click open you click next system will ask you where do you want to save the backup so probably you're going to name a company so you name the company xyz because the company name is xyz and because we're using the same computer system to do both the backup and the restoration so that's why i am renaming it if i don't do that sister will tell me that the name already exists so i'll click save here once i click save then it will try to restore the backup on my file so that is how you do your backup so i i think the process is very simple it's very straightforward you do not have to go through a lot of protocols just understand the basic steps that that, that are involved in doing your backup and all that so if you run your backup i would advise you don't back up on the same system you enter your transaction you don't back up on the same system on that hard disk is very very uh, dangerous you don't do that so it's better you back up on an external disk and all that so you can see this our new company that has been restored so if you have any question to ask you can drop your comment you can if you have suggestions if you have tutorials you want us to talk about just write it on the comment and we will definitely respond to you thank you very much you can also like us like our uh, uh, like our channel for more videos you know that share you can tell your friends about it and and all that thank you very much